Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back once again to another Kingdom Come Deliverance A Woman's Lot DLC. This is episode 3 and I just want to go ahead and give a massive shout out as we make our way over to our brother to go ahead and get his hands dirty in the family corrupt business of stealing stuff from the silver mine. Um, but there, basically I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a massive shout out. I really appreciate all the comments we've been getting on this series. As I, as I said last time, you know, this series doesn't do as well in views as my other content but because you guys keep on constantly dropping likes and comments it really makes me you know keep up with this content keeping it regular um, and I really appreciate it as well as that if you guys want to see more content like this on the channel which isn't necessarily Total War I'd really appreciate it if you could go if you can support me go support me over on Patreon I'll leave a link down below or become a YouTube channel member as well that'll go ahead and give you access to emotes that you can use in the live streams as well as a badge next to your name that will evolve the longer you become a channel member on YouTube. It's basically like a Twitch subscription and it's a great way just to help support the channel if you can. But obviously, you know, just going ahead and commenting and liking is more than enough there to help out the channel if you want to show your support and you enjoy this stuff. It'd just be, you know, if I did end up getting, you know, a decent amount on Patreon eventually, it would be cool to then experiment with stuff. You know, at the moment I'm kind of tied down to doing a lot more Total War stuff, you know, just to survive. So... I don't know, maybe in the future, you know, maybe at the end of next year or something, I could start to look to hopefully, you know, just experimenting with a lot more stuff. And I will now hear and then for sure. But anyway, that's enough of that. It's kind of a long intro. Um, I'm sure you guys don't care too much. But I just thought I'd mention that at the beginning of this uh, battle or at the beginning of this uh, this episode. So yeah, we're going over to our brother right now because he's over at the fish pond. Because we've been stealing silver from the mine shafts, or at least my bro or my father and someone he knows, maybe my uncle or something. Uh, they've been stealing uh, silver from the mine, which is kind of funny, actually, because I swear there was like a big thing about that in the main storyline about silver going missing, um, which was kind of funny. I, I guess maybe we're the ones who are selling it to the people who are minting the fake uh, Groshans and then using that to pay the mercenaries. So I guess we're at the bottom of it after all. And who the hell are you? God save you, Tess. Oh, this is the guy that we did, like, a bunch of quests for in the main story, man. I really enjoy that, that, like, the majority of the stuff we're experimenting with in this DLC so far is heavily, like, is, like, heavily emplaced in the main story. So there's, like, a lot of answers, a lot of cool throwbacks. It's been a good DLC so far. Hopefully it will continue to impress. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Yeah, bloody wolf slash dog. <laughs> so... Are they biting? So far, no. But there's still plenty of time before evening. Sammy, I need something from you. Oh, Tess, I just got ready for fishing. Don't worry. You don't have to go anywhere. Remember that mine shaft where you used to work before it got flooded? Yeah, it was a deep one. We went down that morning and we were up to our knees in water. Master Faithfar said that always happens when you dig deeper than the drainage at it. We dug a well to slow it down, but even that wasn't enough. Do you think you could draw me a map of the way there? Why? What on earth would you want that for? Well, we're gonna have to lie, right? Um, stop wasting time, peasant. Um, I guess, I guess our speech is our best chance, right? You'll just have to trust me, Sammy. It's very important. It's a family problem. I might have known it'd be some Miller intrigue game. It's no wonder the folks say the things they do about us. Give me that and I'll draw it for you. I don't even want to know any more about it. Awesome. Um, I'll stay here a while or... I guess this is going to take us to like some sort of cutscene. I mean, I'm, I'm fine, so let's go... I'll run to him with it right away. I guess it's going to take us... Yeah, there we go. So let's see where this, where this leads us. I'm sure it's not going to end well, is it? Samuel. I got that map from Samuel. What now? Great. Well, first, we've got to get into the mine. We? I'm a maiden. Keep watch. It'd be best if we split up. I'll get rid of him and you can sneak in. What the hell? He is like really putting us in the shit, I think. Like, right. why should I have to do all of this? Let's get it over with then. Once I get rid of him, you sneak inside past the bushes and take a torch with you. It's as black as pitch in there. Just make sure no one sees you, though. Good luck, Tess. 
Okay, so I guess it's now time to try and sneak into the mine shaft. It said that he was going to try and distract him, so I guess we're going to have to look for the perfect opportunity to try and sneak hey, through. Boy, you rogue. Come here a minute. Yeah, he's going to talk to him, and I guess it's our opportunity to then sneak through and uh, try and get deep into the mine shaft. What's he done now? He got rid of the supports and nearly brought the whole shaft down. Say, but it was a pickaxe he was busting. Easy enough. Hopefully our dog doesn't get into any uh, mischief whilst we're here. But it's always good to have the dog because you can sick him on people and the dog will go to town. So let's just continue to make our way in. Oh, it doesn't matter if the dog's going to follow us. I and mean, it's going to be pretty obvious, right? Um, so let's go ahead and whip out a torch. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. I know YouTube, for whatever reason, does make the... Uh, does make the uh, the kind of darkness really, really apparent when it comes to uh, YouTube. But hopefully you guys can see okay. It looks bright enough on my screen. So what are we doing? Just searching? Yeah, I guess we are just searching. But it looks like it's going to be the entrance from the other side. So I guess we'll just go deep into the mine and see what we can come across. Well, I need to obviously douse my torch if there's people here. Bloody hell. I guess we'll just keep on going deeper. I mean, I, I imagine I'd probably have to break my way through them too. But I am trespassing, so I think people attack me on site. So we do need to be pretty careful. Um, but I guess we'll just keep on going, I guess, deeper into the mine shaft. And hopefully, I mean, it says that he dropped it off a ladder or something. So maybe it'll be up here um, and we'll be able to see it down. Because, yeah, I remember last last episode, he was say, telling us that he was trying to escape and then they saw him and then he dropped it over. So that's what we need to try and look. And I don't understand why we're trying to retrieve it, though, because surely that doesn't implicate us whatsoever. I guess we're just being greedy. Um, I mean, I imagine having my torch on probably isn't the best plan of action. Man, imagine having a, a, your, guard, like, your job is to... To guard this. I can hear people mining as well. I literally have no idea where I'm going. I'm just, uh, yeah, running around. Maybe it's over here because I've been searching for a little while. Obviously cut out a lot of the boring bits. But, yeah, because he did say he dropped it. So I guess we want to go downwards more than anything else. Um, because it's most likely to be down there. And I think as well, the mi as Sammy was saying, the mine shaft like collapsed. So, so it's going to be probably very wet where it is. But hopefully we are going in the right direction because I've been down several paths so far and they've kind of led me nowhere. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's cold. But this must be the place Stebel was talking about. Nice. So, that wooden walkway. Wooden walkway. I mean, seems like there's a wooden walkway right here. Oh, I think she means probably up in the, maybe up here. No, it's going to be a lot deeper, right? I mean, we're going to be absolutely soaked. And surely it's very obvious that we're over here because you can just hear us down here. But I kind of feel like, why is there a ladder here? I kind of feel like I'm in, like, amnesia or something. Back we go. This way still. I wouldn't want to get lost in here. You're not wrong, Teresa. You're not wrong. There's a walkway, I think. The walkway. The sack must be here somewhere. There we go. We got the sack. Perfect. Well, hopefully we don't get caught with it now. Our stealth improved as well. I wonder if we can pick up any extra uh, abilities. I haven't actually leveled up at all, but... I guess now it's just our job to try and escape uh, without anyone catching us. Now, there's a few guards in between us and... Uh, us and the uh, the guards, so I'm hoping we can just escape pretty freely. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I have no idea how we're gonna get out of here though, because by the looks of it, he's surely gonna see me coming out. Oh bloody hell! Does he see me? Oh god, he has as well. Um, fuck, let me through. Ah, let's just run. Let's just absolutely run. I don't know how I was supposed to escape that. Hopefully, he won't be able to catch me and we can escape. 
We could surrender if we wanted to, but I think we're just going to run. Like, I don't really know how we were supposed to escape out of that. Maybe use our dog to, like, attack him. And what we can do... Oh, my God. Jesus, man. I'm a defenseless maiden. You're slaughtering me. Jeez. Get him, dog. Okay, so I've managed to make it to the end again as our dog howls. But I don't really know how to escape then. Because we failed last time trying just to run out. I guess we have to sick him on our... Because we can't just... Oh, where's he going now? Okay, here we go. We just have to wait for him to do his like path. And now we just... Dog move. Is someone there? Nope, just, just nobody here. Don't mind me. Okay, well that was much easier the second time around. I guess we just weren't patient enough for it. I mean, he saw me kind of early last time, so I don't really know how we escaped, but we've managed to, which is good. And we've also got the pot of uh, silver as well, the bag of silver. So now we can just go and hand this in, and then I guess get ready for the dance, which hopefully will mean that I get my HP back, because losing the extra, like, a third of my stamina or a quarter of my stamina is actually really annoying, because it means I have to constantly keep just walking around instead of sprinting, and, you know, Teresa is getting them sprinting, sprinting calves uh, by doing all of this running. Uh, if only she had a horse like Henry, hey? Okay, we've made it back. Let's go ahead and talk to, is it our father or is it Steve? But I'm not sure who we're talking to, but either way, we've managed to acquire the silver, which is good, and I don't think anyone saw us either, at least, you know, besides the time we, we died, but we don't talk about that. I found the silver in the mine. Not so loud. Oh, good work, lass. Leave it here, and I'll take care of everything. Thanks. I'd like to say I'm glad to be of help, but I'm not, Pa. It could have ended badly for everyone. Very, very badly. Tess, you know I only want the best for all of you, don't you? The best for us? How long do you think you can get away with this? Do you think your luck will hold out forever? If they'd caught me with that silver, we'd all burn on the pyre together. Don't say that, Tess. I haven't finished. What would happen then, Father? Samuel would be left alone in the world, or he'd be executed too? God forbid. Do you think that never occurred to me? There's not a day goes by I don't think of it. Do you all want to spend the rest of your lives breaking your backs in the mill just to have enough to eat? Your mother wouldn't have wanted it for you either. Pa. Pa. <sighs> you're, uh, you're right. Sorry. I promise we'll be more careful. That will have to do me, I suppose. I mean, it's not like... I, I feel like there's a big difference, but from being like a small-time crook to stealing from your lord, who has a castle and a wealth of men at his arms, you know, so Radzig would punish us pretty brutally. You know, I feel like we're taking a very lo large risk, but I mean, you know, whatever. What about that surprise you promised me this morning? Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Is it going to be some man it. or something? Helping us with that silver. It's going to be some ugly man so, he wants me to marry. I had a dress made oh, for a dress? You Ooh. A very fine dress indeed. Ooh la la. You'd be the prettiest lass in the village. I already you am. Dress? What are you talking about? But I don't understand. Why? Well, you know, you're not a little girl anymore. You're a young woman now, mature and clever. Cleverer than me, for sure. You surely don't want to live here at the mill forever. Samuel's uh, able to take care of himself, and after all that's happened, you don't want to end up with the kind of life me and Steebo have. What is it, Pa? Why did you buy me that dress? Look, Teresa, you're old enough to be married. It's about time we did something about it. What are you saying? I don't understand. I don't want to get married yet. Oh, my little girl. Matrimony is a gift from God. Yes, but... But I don't have a suitor. Oh, but you do. A very good one, too, believe me. What? You've offered my hand to someone? Who is it? Don't worry. He's a decent man. A nice man. He's even close to the nobility. And he's rich. He'll take care of you. There's going to be a fete at the tavern this evening. Sir Radzi gave permission for a pig roast, and... Who is it? You can just have a chat. 
dance a little and... <laughs> it's not going to be anyone I like. Are you going to tell me who it is? It's Chief Engineer Tobias. Tobias Vafar? Aye, that's right. Are you pulling my... What are you thinking of, Father? Vafar has one foot in the grave. Oh, come now. Why didn't you ask me? You couldn't simply let me know what you were planning? Uh, Teresa, uh, listen. It's all Teresa do this, Teresa go and cook, Teresa clean up. And now, for good measure, Teresa go and marry an old fossil. Does nobody care what I want? But of course we care. And you're right, I should have told you. You're damned right you should. Good God, I never thought you'd make such a fuss about it. It's the way things are done. Try and see it from my point of view. Tobias Fafer is a very well-to-do suitor. You'll find none better in Scullitz. Listen, we can talk it over, but the decision is mine to make. You've got to think of your future, Teresa. Master Fafer is a respected man, and that respect will extend to his wife and children too. Children? For heaven's sake, lass, don't be so naive. You were born a girl, and raising a family is what God made you for. Unless you'd prefer the convent. Go to the tavern this evening and let Master Fafer spend a nice pile of groschen on you. You'll have a great time, you'll see. <laughs> Show me that dress, then. It's in the trunk here under the window. Once you've done all your chores, get dressed up and off you go. Well, it's a good thing our father dies if this doesn't go through. I don't want to marry an old goddamn man like all right, this. Teresa. Time to grow up. Put on that lovely dress and go and meet your groom. Um, okay, well, I think we're going to have a short episode because I've also streamed today. This will be going up on Thursday. Um, so I guess I don't want to make this too long, uh, but I will try and do another episode for the weekend as well. So, you, you know, even though this was kind of only like a 20 minute episode, um, you know, you, you guys still get some more um, going on. It's just because I, I streamed this morning, so I don't want to overload you guys with content. But as I said, I really appreciate all the love on this series. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and um, continue up and go and do like I'll do, a, do an hour special for the weekend or at least try and record an hour and then cut it down little bit maybe here and there but thank you guys so much for watching this we'll get into more of the campaign in a little bit and i'll see you guys in the next one